Em 2019, o Spotify adquire a Gimlet Media por 230 milhões de dólares. A Gimlet era o estúdio de podcast criado pelo jornalista Alex Bloomberg, que tinha como objetivo a produção de podcasts narrativos e storytelling. O Alex já era amplamente conhecido por ter trabalhado por muito tempo na NPR, a Rádio Pública Nacional dos Estados Unidos, onde ele trabalhava nos podcasts narrativos This American Life e Planet Money. Quando ele, enfim, resolve sair e empreender num negócio próprio, ele tem essa ideia da criação de uma rede, né? na verdade seria isso, uma rede de podcasts narrativos que teriam a sua chancela de qualidade. Sem nunca ter empreendido antes, ele documenta em áudio todo esse processo e transforma no primeiro podcast narrativo da sua nova empresa, que foi o The Startup. Em The Startup, a gente acompanha todo esse processo, desde a criação do nome da empresa até os pitches que ele tenta fazer com os investidores, enfim. É claro que essa é uma iniciativa muito única, muito personalista. É, o Alex já tinha esse nome né, e uma quantidade de ouvintes ali que pudessem dar suporte, porém a gente tem muito a aprender com esse programa, inclusive com o que não fazer, né, que é a gente vai ver agora nesse primeiro pitch que o Alex tenta fazer com o Chris Saka, que é um investidor anjo do Vale do Silício, um cara que apoiou e tem parte do Twitter, apoiou e tem parte do Google. Sabe? Chris eventually drops the pretense that this is an actual investor meeting and just starts coaching me on my pitch, feeding me questions and then correcting my answers. And so what's it going to take to do it? So it'll take a million and a half dollars, I think. Um, And take out the I think. Yeah, it'll take a million and a half. I'm looking for a million and a half to two million dollars in seed no, stage no, no, funding. No, 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 no. Yeah. you're looking for a very specific <laughs> amount of money. I'm looking for a <laughs> finally, after about an hour of this, I look over and see Chris holding up his hand. Give me a second, and I'm gonna give you your pitch back. All right, but well, let me write down a couple things quick. Okay, great. And then, right there on the corner of Pico and Bundy, he steps into the role of me, starts giving the pitch I should be giving. Hey, look, can I get two minutes from you? So, here's the thing. You probably know me, producer of This American Life, a successful radio show, top of the podcast, and iTunes, etc. So here's the thing. I realize there's a hunger for this kind of content out there. There's none of this shit. It's just a bunch of jerk-off podcasts. Nothing's out there. Advertisers are dying for it. Users are dying for it. And if you look at the macro environment, we're seeing more and more podcast integrations into cars. People want this content. It's a whole new button on, in the latest version of iOS. So here's the thing. Nobody else can make this shit. I know how to make it better than anybody else in the world. And so I've already identified a few key areas where I know there's hunger for the podcast. You got the subject matter. We're going to launch this shit. I know there's advertisers who want to get involved with it. But here's the unfair advantage I have. Because of what I've done in my past careers with This American Life with Planet Money, people are actually willing to just straight up pay for this stuff. And I'm not just talking about traditional subscriptions. I'm talking, we did this t-shirt experiment at Planet Money where we got $600,000 coming, where people actually gave us money to buy a t-shirt with our logo on it as part of the content. It was integrated directly, and I know we can replicate that across these other platforms. So here's what we're doing. We're putting together a million and a half dollars that's going to buy us three, four guys who are going to launch these three podcasts in the next 12 months. We think very easily we could get to three, four hundred thousand net subscribers across the whole thing. With CPMs where they are in this market right now, I know on advertising alone we could get to break even, but as we do more of this integration, we get people buying some of this product, doing some of these integrated episodes. I know that we're, we're going to have on our hands here something that will ultimately scale to be a network of 12, 15 podcasts. The audience is there. They want it. Nobody else can do it like we can. Are you in? That, that was amazing. That's your story, right? <laughs> that is great. Holy shit. So what that was do? good. O que é interessante é que quando o The Startup sai, ele sai ainda na fase de captação de recursos para a empresa. E ele serve, inclusive, de plataforma para essa captação, porque a partir do programa vão surgindo novas empresas que querem apoiar, que querem colocar dinheiro também na Gimlet Media e eles fazem inclusive um crowdfunding que junta 200 mil dólares dos ouvintes que queriam apoiar também o projeto a ser realizado. Fabuloso, na é verdade? A Gimlet Media foi comprada, como eu disse, pelo Spotify em 2019, mas em 2022 o Spotify faz um grande layoff de demite geral o que faz com que o Alex Bloomberg saia da empresa. Em 2023, o Spotify resolve encerrar a Gimlet Media e junta 
a sua equipe com a equipe da podcast e assim surge o Spotify Studios. E esse foi o fim dessa grande iniciativa midiática no mundo dos podcasts narrativos. <música>